Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see, it has some uh, interesting features and the name is End Piece. Here is the drawing with all the necessary dimensions. We start by creating this contour with all its dimensions and we extrude it on 15. New standard millimeters IPT. This plane for a new sketch with X to the right. Then a circle with the radius 45 then some lines 1 2 I keep press the left button of the mouse and I go here I connect with this. This is perpendicular on this, but not tangent. Let's apply tangency here. Then I project the axis X as a construction line because I want to apply mirror. Mirror of all this and it is about this line. Apply. I connect the ends here and I place dimensions. But before I trim this two arcs, maintaining the dimension after I place this point aligned with this point. This is 130. This is 75. This is, I have to show you something, 28 multiplied by 2 is the distance between these two verticals. So I place here the dimension 28 multiplied by 2. This dimension is 128. And what dimension is missing? This radius of 24. This is the first sketch. Then we apply extrude on 15 to have the first volume. Then we create this uh, cylinder 119 from the bottom with diameter of 70. this face to have this center and a circle with a diameter of 70. Finish sketch, extrude this, the distance is uh, 190 minus that 15 the thickness of the plate okay now we want to create this uh, rib 
you see this it is placed at a distance from above distance of 10 and it is tangent to this uh, arc we create a new sketch in the plane xy f7 i project this generator and this arc then i draw a line starting from somewhere on the generator and here anywhere oh anywhere yes but tangent to this arc finish sketch then rib we select the profile this is the profile we select the second option and this direction 2 with distance of 12 yes 12 okay now the two bosses one two to finish with verticals dimensions are radius diameter of 36 and distance of 19 face circle up with the diameter of 36 and another one here with the same dimension we try to not place dimensions if I place here 36 and somebody changes one the other is uh, remaining with 36 finish sketch extrude 1 2 at the distance of 19 minus 15 okay another interesting feature is this one the distance is 193 from here the placement is 89 and the diameter is 48 let's do this we turn this object we select this face and we draw a minus 193 193 okay here is the place for a new sketch I don't want to see the uh, plane I draw a circle with diameter of 48 on the same vertical Z is horizontal on the same horizontal no vertical this point with this point at a distance of 89 89 finish sketch extrude to the part okay if we take a look at the note we see all fillets are radius 3 there are a lot of fillets this is 3 3 is also this also this 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 all around here this but also uh, this is radius 3 
this is radius 3 and this is also radius 3 I hope I didn't miss anyone okay I didn't verifying the features I observed that this is not fully constrained double click and it's right I have to place this dimension of 10 this is the, the advantage of uh, using a parametric software we can go back and we can modify anything I also see that this is not uh, with the fillet double click I don't want to create a new feature and I add this three millimeters fillet now I suppose the part is finished let's see what is the volume I properties physical update copy close double click here and let's see oh it is that uh, from existing this is uh, the same value so I cancel modification I go to the part I apply the material which is uh, steel cast then aspect also steel cast you see the granulation here very nice then uh, I select some faces for applying machining or aspect of machined parts also this face and this face to be machined still polished and now we can compare this with the other only one additional option is default lights now they are the same you see absolutely the same that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye